Well, you have to remember that we live under a tremendous weight of slavery now. And this isn't black history we're talking about. This is our national history. It's my history. It's your history. People have been lynched, slaves. You went to the army and wasn't, wasn't respect. You had to sit in the back of a bus. You need federal legislation to get you into a school to get an education. All of these things. So when you see Robert E. Lee on a column 80 feet tall, the man who wanted to retain slavery, it offends you. You've got two sides, and blacks are screaming prejudice to the white side. And the white side is looking and saying, why don't they get over it? Why can't they get over it? And the blacks don't understand that the whites don't know what the it is, what the IT is. We're trying somehow here to define the it. And unless you know what the it is, don't ask the question. Why can't they get over it? Voilà, restaurant parce qu'il a été vendu pour 75 dollars. Celui-là était aussi d'origine africaine, Little Jim. C'est comme ça que les ça c'est la transcription française. 50 ans, African, a été vendu à Etienne Villeray, free colored man. Etienne, you need something? When they leave, be sure that they toll that bell okay. once for the slave, wherever there's a bell. Okay, okay. okay. No, sir, I can't read, write. When I was brought up, if my boss man catch me with a pencil of paper, it was 25 lashes. John McDonald. Over the last 16 years, we have been working on the Whitney Plantation. This plantation was built in 1790. The plantation was settled by Ambrose Heidel, and this property was available for sale. And for the first year, I just wrapped everything in plastic because it was only a real estate investment for me. But it was very shocking to me that I did not know about slavery. And I knew who knew slaves were here, of course. I had no idea what a commodity they were and how they were treated as a commodity. I had no idea of how, how deprived they were, not by force or circumstance, but by deliberate planning. Like the sheriff of the parish or the head of the militia would have something like this, to lock up runaway slaves until uh, the master comes and uh, claim them and pay the fees for feeding and watering, you know. They always refer to those slaves as animals. And even the runaway slaves, you know, they use the name Maroon. Maroon is from Cimarron, and Cimarron or Cimarrones are wild pig, you know. And this was part of uh, slave control. Uh, my name is uh, Ibrahim Asek. I met John Cummings in 2000, and uh, he decided to hire me to be the director of research of this project. The fact of going into the archives and digging all those names and taking them back to life, everybody who comes here would know that uh, Abdu from Senegal was a slave here. He died in 1836. You don't just teach slavery. These people have backgrounds. They came from Africa. But also you have to know that these people came maybe naked or half naked, but they didn't need a suitcase to put the culture inside. When you say blues, jazz, rock and roll, Zaidiko, they know it all over the country and they like it. You know? It is rooted into slavery. People need to understand what happened on these plantations. It is not just a way of putting the guilt of, on someone. No, we don't need that. We need to understand today why we have so many problems in America, why so many people are in jail, why so much poverty, black people being shot and killed like game. All that was rooted in slavery. And if you don't understand the source of the problem, how can we solve it? 
what people have to realize that it was a bunch of people like me who started this mess. And they started slavery and they dealt in slaves. And so why would it be a, a surprise if some white kid came along as a cheerleader and was trying to do something that would correct what his ancestors did? So I thought that I personally would no longer be satisfied living in ignorance. And also that I would try my best to present the facts of slavery to all of the people I could find so that everyone would understand how strong the deck was stacked against the Africans here. I spent 16 years so far and we're north of $8 million now. We're not finished. And I'm a plotty old gray man than I plotty could is. When I make my 50 cents, Lord, I carry it home to Rose. Come on, hell, Mew.